evening on House and Home, Chef Barry cooks up a storm in our House and Home kitchen, pan-fried zenag chicken. And for all you farmers or those who enjoy gardening, Jane showcases some fantastic Tramontina gardening tools over at Brian Bell. A very good evening to you all and welcome to another production of House and Home. A full-on weekend for some of you here in the nation's capital with all the activities surrounding the Melanesian Festival of Arts and Culture. For those of you, especially students, as it's school holidays at the moment, who have not visited the Papua New Guinea Museum and Art Gallery, make time to do so. Also over the weekend, the Cancer Foundation hosted an event out at the Nature Park and received some good support with a good turnout. First up, Chef Fieri is over in our house and home kitchen, ready to cook up some juicy pan-fried zenek chicken. This is one you won't want to miss. Good night to all viewers. Me chef very me welcome you to the Nara Flat Zinek Cooking Show on tonight. Now tonight by me cooking pan fried zinek chicken. We by me using zinek chicken breast, 700 grams tray pack. Where you can look him, zinek chicken breast and premium quality cut of zinek chicken. So I mean a plenty meat. You can look him. Now you can cook him the kind kind way in the style where you want them chicken breast. You can cook him a stir fry. You can cook him a barbecue. You can cook him kebabs. Anything, or you can walk him even pizza loin. So, all the time you go to the store, choose in Gillette chicken breast that's all. Okay, now we go to all the ingredients, baby. We got three tablespoons of olive oil. We buy me dropping going inside now. Now, by heat up stuff, now buy me Gillette chicken breast, baby. We got two plus tablespoon butter, one cup chicken stock, two teaspoons. Sage leaves, this lime will help so we can give you more flavor of Ginec chicken breast blame. Okay, we got two tablespoons white wine vinegar, we got one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, and we got all Ginec chicken breast blame. When we cut and finish them, you can look at me pull up the meat that's on. Okay, now frying pan blame hot now. By me adding more Ginec chicken breast go inside. Now, by me, I'm going to add a lemon to give more flavor of the chicken breast. By the time I'm going to cook, I'm going to add a butter to the chicken. I'm going to melt and add the chicken. I'm going to cook the chicken by the time I'm going to add the ingredients. Now, I'm going to add the chicken. I'm going to add the sage. So we will add the Ginex chicken to it. Okay. Okay. Spread in. Okay, vinegar to it. White wine vinegar. Salt. Pepper. Chicken stock blaming. Okay, now by me lari motion by fried lily. Now by me roasting. Viewers, you can look in pan fried zinek chicken blaming ready where you can enjoy him for the family blame because it's simple, easy, so you can walk him to dinner or lunch blame. Okay, now by me roasting. Seven one tablet lettuce blaming. Okay, look him. Let him really flavor go inside. You can look him, pan fried Ginec chicken. We're we'll using Ginec chicken breast, 700 grams tray pack. Ginec chicken, meatier, tastier, and juicier. Gosh, that just made me very hungry. Thank you for that, Chef Barry, and we definitely look forward to your next Zenai cooking show. Just a few tips on the health benefits on eating chicken. One, it's high in protein. It's a great source of lean and low-fat protein. Great source of protein for muscle growth and development. 
Two, chicken is high in an amino acid called tryptophan, which gives you that comforting feeling after consuming a big bowl of chicken soup. Three, those well in their senior year or elderly, eating chicken can aid in your fight against bone loss thanks to the protein punch it packs. Four, chicken is also rich in phosphorus, an essential mineral that supports your teeth and bones, as well as your kidney, liver, and central nervous system function. Five, chicken is also abundant in selenium, an essential mineral involved in metabolic performance that is thyroid, hormone, metabolism, and immune function. Six, chicken also happens to be rich in niacin, vitamin B in particular that guards against cancer and other forms of genetic damage. Seven, chicken is high in retinol, alpha and beta carotene and lycopene, all derived from vitamin A and all vital for healthy eyesight. And that's only to name a few. More on House and Home in a moment, so stay watching. Welcome back and a big warm welcome if you've just tuned into the show. With all the arts and culture festivities going on, we thought we'd run a story on a form of art that has been carried through the ages and the designs that are worn by these wares are none other than traditionally inspired. Pottery is a ceramic material which makes up pottery wares of which major types include earthenware, stoneware and porcelain. The place where such wares are made is also called a pottery or potteries in plural. Pottery also refers to the art or craft of a potter or the manufacture of pottery. Pottery is also made by forming a clay body into objects of a required shape and heating them to high temperatures in a kiln which removes all the water from the clay, which includes reactions that lead to permanent changes including increasing their strength and hardening and setting their shape. In this segment, we will look at the process of making these beautiful pieces from clay to a final product. Here at Anne's Pottery in Port Moresby, we've shared in the journey of a piece of clay being turned into a beautiful and very useful work of art. Anne's Pottery is located within the Cheshire Homes premises in Ahola, Port Moresby, and as far as we know, the only pottery in town. Pottery is a traditional art form and its uses vary from different storage to cooking needs traditionally. As an art form in this day and age, all of the products that Annie's Pottery turns out are a particular beautiful representation of modern and traditional art as we know it. The little shop and the workshop are quite small, but the amount of beautiful pieces that have been created in this space by Jimmy with the help of Annie and Angie are countless. These pots, mugs and other clay storage and decorative pieces can be used at home, are ideal for gifts and are intriguing just to gaze upon. This is Jimmy, the potter here at Anne's Pottery. And if you have the privilege of owning any of the pottery from Annie's, you will find Jimmy's signature on the underside of the item. Jimmy makes every single item that is made at Annie's Pottery. Jimmy has been a potter since he was 19 years old and has been making pottery for Annie's Pottery for 13 years now. Jimmy is assisted by Annie and Angie who helped in the preparation of the items from start to finish. The clay used here at Annie's Pottery is imported in 10 kilogram bags. The first step in the process is weighing the clay. Each piece of clay used for different items, whether it be mugs, vases or utensil holders, has a specific weight. For example, the clay that is used to make a mug weighs 3 kilos. After the clay is portioned and weighed, Jimmy takes it to the potter's wheel, adds some water and starts shaping the clay into the desired item. As Jimmy is working through these steps to make an item, Annie will explain the processes. These are all the steps to make the cup. And he does that to take all the air bubbles out of it. Because if you have air bubbles in there and you fire something, it'll just explode. And then it'll spoil everything else. See, that's my job. When they're small sized like that, then I do that for him. So now he's making a cup. How much did the clay block cup have? 400 grams. 400 grams. Mm -hmm. okay. So all our cups are, four. that's our regular size. This yeah. size that you see, it's all 400 grams. And if people ask for smaller ones, bigger ones, then we adjust the, the, the weight. weight, yes. Okay. It's just 400 grams, just enough to make the cup and gives him enough to work with. Otherwise, if it's too thin, then it's no good. It's yeah. 
take long to make a cup you yeah. see so he can make he can probably make a hundred cups in a day if he was just making cups alone just to to that stage though and then because you have to wait for them to dry yeah wow it takes a lot of patience mm. <laughs> that's it that's for the cup so that Next stage would be from the from there he would go to um, but he's already trimmed them he's already tidied them up so we won't worry about that mm -hmm. he'll just go put the handle and put the design someone ordered a gecko mug with their name okay so he's going to do the gecko with the name so you will find that not two pieces are exactly the same yeah there will always be a little difference yeah. maybe in height or in the design or in the writing or the, because it's all done by hand the same. Making the for the legs and the you know the body is already there. That's it. So that's your gecko mug. So you come and put your order, and we require a fifty percent deposit. Okay, so Jimmy's, um, he's just done the glazing, but he's gone and put the color, like a solid color over the mug. Yeah. And now he's cleaning off the bird. So the bird is, uh, becomes raw, there's no more glaze on the bird. And then he can, with that, he can go and put the um, two different colors yeah. on the bird. So it, they stand out against the background. then they will stay for the weekend because if you open them while it's hot when the cold air rushes in it'll crack we'll use those cones that's the way he sets them up okay and then he's gonna put it set it up like that in this space here because in the door of the kiln there is a hole there he'll take that out and he'll look in and see he can't open it while it's firing. Yes. So he has to open that uh, little window and have a yeah. look and see. And when they start to uh, bend, which one bends first, the white one? The cone nine. Cone nine, which is? There's cone nine and there's cone ten. Okay, okay so nine cone nine. is white and yeah. ten is pink. The, when, when they start to bend, that'll tell him that it's ready. Almost ready. Yeah, almost ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when the pink one or number 10 starts to bend, then that it's means it's ready. ready. have it. We have covered this process over a period of two weeks, from weighing and kneading to cooling and removing the finished items. The process of making a beautiful item such as these is quite lengthy and requires a lot of patience, but you have to admit, with an outcome like this, it's absolutely worth it.
Those are some fine pieces of pottery there, and just for the sake for some of you who may have missed it, Ant's Pottery is located within the Cheshire Homes compound over at Hohola. So if you can spare the time, pop on over and have a look at some of those exquisite pieces for yourself. See you after these messages. Now most of us enjoy cooking, well I'd like to believe that most of us do, and most of us, if not everyone, enjoys cooking with oil one way or another. That's if you're not religiously health-bent in keeping to a strict health diet, that is. But really, you've got to admit that you do or have loved indulging in deep-fried potatoes or chicken or something deep-fried. And the type of oil used does matter on the outcome or taste for some foods. So how much do you know about the different types of oils that are used in cooking today? If you're one that frequently does the cooking at home, then you're probably familiar with using oil. Cooking oil, that is, which is used as an ingredient for recipes or mostly used for frying. One of the most common cooking oil that most, if not all, households are very familiar with is vegetable oil. Even though it says vegetable oil, but what is vegetable oil? What makes up vegetable oil? Well, I'm going to explain in brief the different types of oils available on our supermarket shelves what oils are best used for frying, the proper use for each oil and the best way to store oil. I'll start with vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is probably the most commonly used of all the oils. As mentioned earlier, it can be used in recipes, but it's mainly used for frying. Vegetable oil is actually a blend of several oils, such as corn, soybean, palm, and sunflower. One other oil that's become a frequent user in a number of households is canola oil. Canola oil is known to be one of the most healthy of the cooking oils because of its low saturated fat content and high monounsaturated fat. What is saturated fat, you ask? Putting it very simply, it's the fatty acids that contribute in weight gain. These fats are also found in cream, cheese, butter, and fatty meats, for example. Too much of this saturated fat can lead to a number of health problems. Monounsaturated fat is a healthier fatty acid. Canola oil is commonly used in frying, but it's best used in medium frying temperatures, such as pan frying, not so much for barbecues. Then there's corn oil. Corn oil is relatively low on both saturated and monounsaturated fats. It's popular in margarines and can be used in both frying and baking. Like the canola oil, corn oil should be used when frying in medium temperatures. Also on the supermarket shelves, you'll find sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is low in saturated fat and high in vitamin E. Many food manufacturers are recognizing the health benefits of sunflower oil and are using it as the preferred oil in such snack foods as potato chips. It can also be used in the home to fry, general cooking, and also used in salad dressings. Now, olive oil. Olive oil is my favorite of all the oils and one I tend to use a great deal in my kitchen. There are different varieties of olive oil, extra virgin, virgin, extra light, and refined, Extra virgin olive oil is the most common of those used. There are many uses for all the varieties, such as stir frying, cooking, sauteing, and as an ingredient in recipes. Olive oil is also frequently used in salad oils. It's the most healthy of all the oils, as it's high on monounsaturated fat, which has been shown to help reduce the risk of heart disease. Many people use it daily in their meals, drizzling it over a wide variety of foods. The last oil on my list found commonly on supermarket shelves is peanut oil. Peanut oil is a great oil to use when frying in high temperatures. In some foreign countries, it's the common oil used during Thanksgiving as many homes would use in their turkey fryers to fry their turkeys. But I find peanut oil as the best oil to use during barbecues and it can be used anytime when frying is required at very high temperatures. Now let's talk on storing oil. All oils remain liquid when kept at room temperature, so it's best to store oil in a dark, dry place, such as a pantry, if you have one, or your kitchen cupboard. Oils are high in monounsaturated fat, which will keep up to a year, while refined olive oil, having the highest of monounsaturated fat, can last a few years. Extra virgin and virgin olive oils will keep about a year after open. The shelf life of most other oils after open is usually six to eight months. Another important fact to note is how to properly discard used cooking oil. It should never be poured down your kitchen sink. Oil can congeal and block pipes. The best way to discard of it is to pour into a leak-proof container and discard it with the rest of your garbage. 
Now that you're more knowledgeable about cooking oils, the different types of cooking oils available and its best uses, you can shop easy with the understanding and decide for yourself which is better for you. Happy shopping, but furthermore, happy cooking. After the break, we join the lovely Jane over at Brian Bell. Now, if you're a bit of a greenie or a garden fanatic or an agriculturist, then you're not going to want to miss this next segment from Brian Bell. You may just find yourself a good deal on a much needed garden tool. See you soon. Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of House and Home with Brian Bell. I'm Jane Takilala. As you can see, I'm surrounded by all these beautiful indoor and outdoor pot plants. Plants, as you know, are the backbone for all life on Earth and an essential resource for human well-being. Think about how your everyday life depends on plants. They provide us with oxygen, water, food, medicine and mostly beautifies the environment which you and I live in. So when it comes to using the right tools and care for your plants, you know you can trust Brian Bell because we've got you covered. Agriculture covers a broad spectrum. Brian Bell has products to suit your agricultural needs in all of its different aspects. Whether you cultivate the land, keep and sell chickens, work on a plantation, or own your own coffee farm, Brian Bell has all the products you'll need to successfully work the land. When it comes to cultivating the land, keep and sell chickens, work on a plantation, or own your own coffee farm, Brian Bell has all the products you need to successfully work the land. When it comes to cultivating the land, no one does it better than Tramontina. We have spades, shovels, axes, rakes, and bush knives. If you walk lol, oil, banana, tapioca, rice, or sugarcane plantation, then you must have an ultimate that kind kind old blades by making walk for you easy through. So using the right tool saves time and energy, plus when you buy quality brands like Tramontina, you can't go wrong. Kinji has beautiful flora and fauna, for the homes and gardens that take pride in their appearance. For the company premises that incorporate green in their buildings, or for anybody who takes a keen interest in flora and fauna, get all the accessories from Brian Bell. Brian Bell's products cater to all the concerns one would have from what pots you seat your plants in, irrigation systems, for watering hoses in all sizes, to pruning and sharing equipment. We have innovative products that have benefits that might just suit your needs. Take the Bog Boss hose for example. Comes in a small box, easy to transport and durable, but once you connect it to a water source, it will expand to 15 meters. Practical products that help include our tree lockers or pole pruners, designed to reach the hard to reach branches of a tree. This product will keep you safe and allow you to work efficiently. Products that make a difference are products that serve I need and serve it well. Perform how the customer expects you to and last for as long as the vendor says it will. Products like our Arc Meal Grinders transform meals. You can use it to make peanut butter, chili powder, minced meat or whatever you put your mind to. Pesticides and fertilizers are just some of the many specific products that will help your crops to grow and stay healthy. We have products that will nourish your soil, encourage and discourage variables that will aid the growth and health of your plants and vegetables. Yates is a well-known brand in the field of agriculture and covers a wide range of products. Yates has been doing this for years and is successful at it. Yates products can get as specific or as general as you need. One of its popular brands would be the Yates Seeds, which covers a wide range of flower seeds to color any garden, to quality seeds for a great vegetable taste, and to herb seeds to flavor any food. It also helps you with a planting guide at the back of the packet. So listen carefully if you're not familiar with the diagrams. Diagram 1 shows the time of the year for planting this particular seed according to the World Planting Guide. Diagram 2 shows the time of the year for harvesting or reaching full 
bloom for this particular seed, according to the World Harvest Guide. Diagram 3 shows the world map displaying tropical and temperate climate zones with a monthly calendar indicating planting or harvesting times. Diagram 4 shows the sunlight conditions required for the plant to grow, whether it requires full sun, half shade or full shade. Diagram 5 shows how deep to plant the seed. Diagram 6 shows how long it will take for the seed to germinate. Diagram 7 shows how much space to allow between planting the seed and the distance between the rows. Diagram 8 shows the height the plant will reach when full grown. And finally, Diagram 9 shows how many days before the plant is full grown and ready for harvest. Yates products provide extra nutrients that organically improve your soil and encourage earthworks. Brian Bell has a wide range of accessory products to help grow your seeds, such as seedling trays, garden bags, potting mix, racing mix, plant food for fast feeding for leafy vegetables and potted plants, seaweed booster to stimulate root growth and health, and a wide range of pots. Any size pot you want, we've got. There are three main areas when it comes to pest control or pesticide. We have the insecticide, which is prevention and control of insects. Fungicide, which is prevention and control of plant disease. Herbicide or weedicide, which is prevention and control of unwanted plants or weeds. For example, if your cabbage leaf is turning yellow or unusual black spots appearing on it, then come visit our agriculture section at any of our nationwide showroom for that expert advice to get rid of bugs and other unfriendly diseases. Not all potting mixes are created equal. They incorporate diverse ingredients and have various levels of drainage and nutrients. Some contain additives such as polymers or chemical fertilizers. Cost is one indication of the quality of a specific mix, but always check the ingredients, especially if you're an organic grower. Potting mix is the best thing you can put into a pot when you want to grow container plants because ordinary garden soil won't provide optimal growing conditions. As you can see, Brian Bell for Agriculture is the place to be. So remember, great products, great prices. That's Brian Bell. Until next time, I'm Dan Takilala. Have a good night. Best price, best quality, guaranteed at Brian Bell. Right on, right on, Mr. B. Thank you, Jane, and we look forward to next week's Brian Bell segment. Now, speaking of gardening, it's always good to keep pot plants or leafy green plants around your home. Let me share with you a couple of benefits for doing so. These plants are living organisms that interact with your body, mind, and home in ways that enhance the quality of life. For instance, breathing easier. Your body takes in oxygen and releases carbon dioxide when you breathe. Now, if you remember your science lesson in biology, you will remember the role of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the air. Therefore, adding plants to your interior or exterior space can increase oxygen levels around you. In line with that, plants remove toxins from the air, up to 87% of volatile organic compounds every 24 hours. It purifies the air. So to improve health and reduce fatigue and stress, place large plants throughout your living area. More on House and Home after the break. Celebrating the Melanesian Festival of Arts and Culture, we showcase some of our very own arts and crafts that are displayed and sold at various craft markets around the country and other market sites established just for the sale of these fine handy craftsmanships. Okay, I've just made myself comfortable here in this little corner that sells these beautiful tapa prints. These prints are from the Oro province and have a little story behind them. Uh, my name is Florence Bonari. I'm from Oyako village. Um, it's a Maison village in the Tofi district of Pocondeta. Um, we are known for printing, knitting and printing tapa cloth. 
Um, Kapa cloth is, is unique to the Oro province. Um, the province has uh, different materials, different bark, different designs, and uh, we know when we see the designs, we know what part of the province they come from. Mm -hmm. um, my people have this kapa cloth. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one that's a lot of people know about this kapa cloth. They see it and they think that this kapa cloth belongs to this print belong to the whole of the um, Oro province, yes. but it is yes. not. Okay. This, these designs, these prints are specific to the Mycin people yeah. of um, Oro province. So our designs have, they're like this, some of them have borders like this and that, some don't, and um, they have dots mm. like this one here. Okay. Um, traditionally, the kapa was only printed, written by women. Okay. Men were not allowed to do that. Okay. It was a sacred practice that is, was done by the women mm. of our, our, our area. Okay. Until just recently, men also started getting involved. Okay. So here you see that um, the dots here are, are big. Um, again, some parts of the province don't have dots on the kappa. Mm -hmm. Some parts have the design smaller. Mm -hmm. So this is again another type of um, kappa that belongs to the people of Pomboleta um, okay. or Oro province. So traditionally, this is the only form of kappa that, that's used. You mm -hmm. either tie it around you, mm -hmm. that females use, or mm -hmm. you um, or the men have. The designs that you see out here now, mm -hmm. that's with so bags and mm -hmm. caps and purse and all those little accessories, they don't have stories behind them. They mm -hmm. are they are not designs that are that they are designs mean anything. That, yeah, yeah. They don't mean anything. Yeah. We have our clan designs yeah. and um, our clan designs are not to be sold. Okay. Um, even as a friend, I cannot give it to you. Okay. If I belong to this clan, yeah. it is the right to that design is forfeited when I marry into another clan. Okay. So um, most of the tapa cloth that's sold outside here, our mycin tapa that is sold, mm -hmm. um, don't have meaning mm -hmm. to them. Okay. The tapa cloth with designs that have meanings, mm -hmm. they are sacred and they are kept within our own clans and um, okay. tribes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then again, in the village you have, um, um, it's a, each family would have o their own style of okay. design, but it's not um, only for them, mm -hmm. it's just so a design. It's, yeah. It's just like the paintings, like you have yeah. people stick to one type of yeah. style, and the signature. Yeah. kind of, yeah, yeah. like a signature yeah. kind of design. Yeah. So that's how um, people easily see online uh, the handmark. Okay. Otherwise, uh, different designs. This ones, the Mycin people call it Bumusi. Mm -hmm. That's the traditional name that they call Papa Cloth. Mm -hmm. The one down there from mm -hmm. the Ewage Coast people call it um, Tarebo. And then the inland people, our inland uh, people, the Kaiwa or Kaiwa people, mm. they call it Harepo. Okay. So that's um, so different parts of the province have different, different things. Okay. Yeah, styles, okay. and so they call it different, different things. things. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Kapa cloth is really, it's a laborious work. Mm. You have to plant that tree after mm -hmm. that tree gets to that um, maturity or to that when you feel that it's time to be harvested, then the, the bark is cut out, mm -hmm. it's chopped out, and um, it's beaten. You sit down with something heavy and you just continuously beat it until it gets big. Mm -hmm. uh, a little water is put on the hand, mm -hmm. just just a little water put and then you put it on, on top of that block and you beat it so it doesn't break easily okay. um, so eventually it gets to the beating can take like um, four hours it, it just goes on forever me trying to on hand me and useless city so yeah. I just beat it for a little while and I had very sore hands so I don't beat it anymore mm -hmm. I only help mm -hmm. when it's time to design mm -hmm. and my sister-in-laws are really expert at this, so mm. um, I let them do the designs. Mm. So 
the, the brown bark, uh -huh. uh, the brown dye, uh -huh. that's also uh, bark of another tree. Okay. So you just stick the bark into water and then boil it and then that creates the dye, yeah, makes the color brown. But what is this, what, what is the actual, the main, what, what tree is this, what kind of tree? Which bark um, of which tree? It's a, the tree is only found in our area. Okay. I don't know the traditional no name, name for it, yeah. but yeah. I think the name Rumusi has something to do with yeah. the name of yeah, the, the tree. tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think. But okay. uh, that's something I like to yeah. ask my religious elders when I go back home. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So after it's um after the dye is the bark is boiled and the color comes up, that's when the dye is added. Mm, and this, okay. The black one is charcoal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's from the um, coconut shell, bent coconut shell. Just bend the coconut shell, and you get um, water, water, a little bit of water enough to make it a paste, mm. and then you can mix them. The black marks paint. are drawn around, and the dots are put on them. Okay. Yeah. So after, after it's, um, after it's. It's beaten, it's dyed, it has to be out in the sun, and then it gets hard. Okay. So the paint dries out. Okay. After it's dried out, it's folded away, it's okay. ready to be used. I got this from uh, Buna. Mm. I got this from Buna, it was given to me as a gift. Mm. Um, because the ladies there, they know that I sell papa, so mm. they hope that I can also gain an interest okay. from the public to buy papa from there as well. That side, yeah. yeah. Because most of the tapa that sold is the, 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 the dotted yeah. ones yeah. from yeah. the Mycin tapa. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about this, this tapa, one. but it is still there and we use it. Okay. Now over here we've managed to find some paintings and these are some beautiful pieces of art. You'll find that quite a number of local artists are naturally gifted and are self-taught. Their paintings capture a world where traditional culture was strong, where legends and myths were the sacred stories that were passed through generations that kept the heritage alive and thriving. Me at na me at me no one flatish man, but me one flat village man. So long 1994, me pini kan tamblo liye. Na all money been paint, but all too much all in a paint. Na one flat fara blo me nemblang na me matias kawage. Em been paint lo liye na. I think three or four blamangi all been paint long and me pini kan tamat. Na mi lo pen, na mi bini ko rong lo crab market, mi bini lo kum dis la, all at work blow, but can size printing or some two meter by half or half meter by half meter only salim long, two three hundred you go end up, na you go end up lo thousand or some, so before you no get printing too much, so mi lo kum dis la na mi lo kum mi mi high blow mi off the lid, na mi to kum some mi et mi thing in salom mind blow mi mi thing emotion. This play, I mean, one play ABC number, me writing number, me fail. I'm blocking some paint number, so so long, put me color lap lap, number paint, meeting in this lap. So then me H blow me over long, 25, 30 years, so then me, thinking blow me strong now, so then me buy more material number, me paint, me paint, he coming up now. So me been starting long 1994, he coming up now, and me 2013. So now me plus paint me two me go paint this up. So all painting blow me line up me go down not same. Me no school. School yes me school, but I me draw out look great tricks. Now me no school on art. So this art me come a talent na gift. So me been work. So plenty painting, plenty at this I'm competition come up. But me plus you paint now. So kind kind idea is have look thinking. Me plus look me say but thinking thinking is have been said. Me plus come out in this time long same as. Now then, by you look him, mm. anybody can look him now by. Yeah. So this is a like painting. I'm all call him stickman painting. Mm. But uh, I'm a contemporary art. Mm. So this is like a painting and meaning learn your same. And sing sing group. So this is like a sing sing group and two, four, six plus man. I'm representing all uh, six islands province. So all these singing, fighting, kundu drum, number this stuff all I'm But you can look him reaction to this like painting. Or you can stand up, I've been like, I've been, but this is like, I'm a machine to throw, so you say, I'm just scouting about my dance. And this is like, kind of awesome. So painting you like, also, me plan money, walking long end. 
Mi vle nu vokum nothing nothing. Mi vle vokum lo attractive mol customer. Long oli gen lat sumai lama mas now. Pending oli like mlen ol bekan by Maria. You tour me kala na pending nothing nothing. Pending long best quest nebe sab long plate mol by na by Maria. This is a painting me okay me me okay long acrylic. Na me okay long painting em acrylic paint. Na em caligo material lap lap ya me okay. How much plate mol? Uh, I've been taking one month to do like a painting. But okay. acrylic, and we can now, uh, you, you put them color like yet, and mm -hmm. still by dry gum. Mm -hmm. uh, oil base, oil base you open, and still by you wait, so then taking time, and by you know, some one month, or kind of one month, two weeks, and about by you open. So this is like, can take me three weeks, completing this line. Okay. Like, Miller Green Custom and your son. This line will be present in five island province. Okay. And then this like painting and me putting me go long carving, carving style. What you say looking civic also working my DIY carving yeah. Me transfer me go painting and me put me canvas again. But you can do him also many uh, carving but and painting. So this like painting and me working me working long uh, lap lap yeah and me carry go. Na painting and me oil paint oil base painting. Na all kind of culture money and me rounding. Big cast and stuff, and belly stuff, play pot stuff, wood drum stuff, head belly stuff, na kina celly stuff, tonex stuff, or narbla celia. Okay. Emi traditional money blue you mean. So, be what tumbo na blue mi play just in this la but what money ga mi black semi independent na then all cancel in this la samji ni ko finish and then all salim kina toy ga na na you mi sim kina toy stuff. And then lo this lah mi like greasy mi customer tu, mi put him a country PNG mi tu kan dah bongen ni jenis tap. You look him now, but you can look him for bongen ni mi tu one day. So this lah sam, this lah kan pening em, mining brand your sam. You will also find jewelry and inspired clothing designs, baskets as well as billums of all sorts. These billums have multiple uses, not just used as a handbag, but it can be used as a market bag, shopping bag, and the larger ones have been used as a baby's cradle. More on House and Home in a moment. Welcome back. The Melanesian Festival of Arts and Culture will be on show for another week, so everyone still has the time to go out and visit the museum and check out the displays. Next week on House and Home, Norman of Pims joins us to talk more on education and using the English language to the best of our advantage. And we join Jane over at Brian Bell for more great quality buys at great affordable prices, just to name a few. This is where the team and I will leave you. Thank you for your company this evening on House and Home, and we do hope that you'll join us once again next week. A very good and productive week to you all. Those of you on school midterm break, I know I said this last week, but I'm going to say it again. Make yourselves useful and help around the home cleaning up and even though it's a holiday, it's also worth spending time doing some revision on school subjects, especially subjects that you're not doing too well at at the moment. Have a great week everyone, until next week, keep up with those regular exercises, make that start if you haven't already, enjoy the outdoors more and keep on moving. Good night. <laughs>